What's up, Hot Wheelers, Diecast Collectors? Today I'm going to do a quick uh, overview of the complete 36 car Hot Wheels Heritage set. Starting with these six cars. These were the first six cars to um, hit the stores. I think it was spring of 2015. Um, these first six featured the Real Rider tires. All feature metal body on metal base with Real Rider tires. So this was the uh, Heritage set which was kind of to pay homage to the history of Hot Wheels. So the next six cars that were released were these six red lines. We have a gasser, copper stopper, uh, the Ford F1 pickup, Dodge Dart, Chevelle wagon. That gasser is super cool. As is that 510. That's a very collectible car right now. So they alternated. They would come out with six real riders, then six red lines, then six real riders. So these are the next six. The Plymouth Satellite. That Ford Transit Supervan is sweet. Great wheel donor. Those axles can come right off of that and go right on to any Datsun 510 or Nissan 180SX without uh, having to make an axle. So, good wheel donor. <clears throat> the Flash Cider, popular Hot Wheels casting, features an opening hood as well as the hair splitter. I believe those are the only two that, that have the opening hood. The uh, Backwoods Bomb doesn't have an opening hood, but you can pop the the back off. Whoa, there she goes. Anyways, I'm not going to put that back on right now. Uh, that Silverado is probably the most expensive to buy right now. Either that or the 510. This is a cool truck. Really nice detail. It's got a really nice stance to it. Very well proportioned. And then you have this BMW, which uh, leaves some something to be desired, I think. Really bland. Give us some headlights or something. Anyways, so after those six real riders came out, we had six more red lines with the Cyclone, the Mustang, another Ford truck, Bone Shaker, Camaro, and my favorite car of the set, the Ken Murray Skyline. So after those six uh, red lines, you know what they came out with next. More real riders. Nice Aston Martin. The Texas Drive em. That's a nice truck. Really cool tampos. Oop. Sorry for the shaky camera. Dirt track. Then behind it, you have the uh, official pace car. Really nice Camaro. A neat streeter. And that Porsche. This was a fun set to put together. 
I started too late to build the retro set. I think I have 35 or 40 of them. But the earlier retros are really pricey now, so I don't know if I'll ever get that set done. Anyways, the last six cars to come out. The least desirable of the set, in my opinion, is this. Mig rig, I think it is. The Corvette's cool. It's nice looking. And then, um, yeah, GTO wagon. Or that might be the Chevelle wagon, I don't know. And then the Nova. And then the Blazer. And I think the most popular car of that run was the uh, Wampanoag. So, uh, overall, this is a good set. I, I think... Uh, I think overall Hot Wheels did a good job with this set. The Bubble Gunner, Altered Ego, the Hair Splitter. Um, it definitely has a nostalgic value. A lot of collect collectability. Uh, some nice cars for wheel donors. If you do customs, you can get some good donors. But I have to say, um, I am happy that they're going in the direction that they're going in with the car culture. All of those will have real riders, metal on metal. I'm not big on fantasy cars, so when I see the Bubble Gunner and the Altered Ego and the Greenbrier and this MIG rig... I just don't care for them. To me, it's a wasted, it's a wasted space in the collection. So, the Car Culture series will be next up. It'll be a fun one to collect. It'll probably be a lot harder to get because scalpers are going to be taking all of those. At least with some of these, you had a shot. I found. I found a bunch of these in the wild, probably almost all of them. I never did find that Silverado. I had to get that secondary market. But I found probably 15 of the 510, mostly at Auto Zones and Walgreens. I found a bunch of both Skylines, uh, mostly at Walmarts. But. Anyways, it's a cool set, so there you go. There's a quick video. I think uh, on deck, um, I'm going to show you guys what retros I have. Uh, that'll probably be my next video. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.